corporation is not a person, it doesn't think. People in it think. And for them, it is legitimate to create terminator technology so that farmers are not able to save their seeds. Seeds that will destroy themselves through a suicide gene. Seeds that are designed to only produce crop in one season. You really need to have a brutal mind. It's a war against evolution to even think in those terms. But quite clearly, profits are so much higher in their minds. The profit motive, which drove Fudzi to accomplish so much, may bring out the evil as well as the good. Hello? My work spans all industry sectors. I mean, I, I virtually have worked for, like, I'd say 25% of the Fortune 500. I've posed as an investment banker. I've posed as uh, a venture capitalist. Um, I set up front companies that are uh, executive recruiting firms. Essentially, I'm a spy. I'll locate your employees, and I will tell them that I'm calling from Acme Recruiting Agency and that I've got a job that pays them considerably more than what they're paying. Would they mind meeting me for a, an interview? And when the executive shows up, what he doesn't realize is I'm actually debriefing him on behalf of a competitor, and that there is no job, and that the office that he's at uh, has been rented, and, and the, uh, the picture on my desk of my family is a phony. And it's, it's all just a big, elaborate ruse to glean competitive information from, from him. I don't feel any guilt. It's, you know what, I mean, you have to expect that guys like me are out there. We're predators. It's about competition. I mean, it's about market share. It's about being aggressive. It's about shareholder value. What is your stock at today? If you're a CEO, I mean, do you think you're, you're, you're your shareholders really care whether you're Billy Buttercup or not? You know? Do you think that they really, they would prefer you to be a nice guy over, uh, over having money in their pocket? I don't think so. I think people want money. That's the bottom line. The fact that most of these companies are run by white men, white rich men, uh, means that they are out of touch with what the majority of the world is. Because the majority of this planet are not a bunch of rich white guys. Uh, they're people of other colors, they're the majority, women are the majority, and the poor and working poor make up the majority of this planet. So uh, the decisions that they make uh, come from uh, not the reality that exists uh, throughout the world. How much is enough? You know, how much is enough? If, if, if you are a billionaire, would it be okay just to be a half a billionaire? Wouldn't it be okay for your company to make a little less money if it meant... When I bought those two jobs. airplane tickets for Phil Knight and myself to fly to Indonesia, I to was prepared right? for him to say, okay, on. let's go. Sunday. Oh, no, not a chance. Huh? Not a chance. No? No, but they're, they're transferable. I can change it to another day. No. And call me on it. Call my bluff. And he's a smart guy. I mean, he's not, he's not stupid. And so I thought, okay, get ready for this. Especially because, you know, I bought first class tickets. So, you know, it would be a comfortable ride at least, you know. Uh, and of course, he tells me then on camera. I've never been to Indonesia. <laughs> I'm like taken aback by this. I can't believe that the guy who's the head of the company has never walked through his own factories. Oh, you've got to go. No, I can't go between now and the rest of this year. When, when we were done filming, he calls me up. Um, a couple weeks later, and he goes, I, I may have a chance to go there with you to the factories. I'm, I'm going to the Australian Open to watch some tennis. And, uh, you know, maybe I can get up there, or at least you can go there. Would you like to go to the Australian Open? <laughs> For 21 years, I never gave a thought to what we were taking from the earth or doing to the earth in the making of our products. And then in the summer of 1994, we began to hear questions from our customers we'd never heard before. What's your company doing for the environment? 
And we didn't have answers. The real answer was not very much. And it really disturbed many of our people, not me so much as them. And a group in our research department uh, decided to convene a, a task force and bring people from our businesses around the world to come together to assess our company's worldwide environmental position to begin to frame answers for those customers. They asked me if I would come and speak to that group and give them a kickoff speech to launch this new task force with an environmental vision. And I didn't have an environmental vision. I did not want to make that speech. And at sort of the propitious moment, this book landed on my desk. It was Paul Hawkins' book, The Ecology of Commerce. And I began to read The Ecology of Commerce, really desperate for inspiration. And very quickly in, into that book, I found the phrase, the death of birth. It was E.O. Wilson's expression for species extinction, the death of birth, and it was a point of a spear into my chest. And I read on, and the spear went deeper, and it became an epiphanal experience, a total change of mindset for myself and uh, a change of paradigm. Can any product be made sustainably? Well, not any and every product. Can you make landmines sustainably? Well, I don't think so. There's a more fundamental question than that about landmines. Some products ought not be made at all. Unless we can make carpets sustainably, you know, perhaps we don't have a place in a sustainable world, but neither does anybody else making products unsustainably. One day at, uh, early in this journey, it dawned on me that uh, the way I've been running Interface is the way of the plunderer, plundering something that's not mine, something that belongs to every creature on Earth. And I said to myself, my goodness, the day must come when this is illegal, that when plundering is not allowed, I mean, it must come. So I said to myself, my goodness, someday people like me will end up in jail. Canada's most popular documentary, The Corporation, now on DVD. More than eight hours of extras on two discs, commentaries, the making of, deleted scenes, and more. 165 new interview clips on 23 topics with related web links and strategies for change. Special offers at thecorporation.com. Make us social change. World domination not included.